So uh, now if we know something more about the uh, ash tra transformation, we can uh, uh, we can go to the slugging, falling and agglomeration and uh, explain uh, the processes. So let's start from the ag agglomeration. Uh, this process occur uh, only in the fluidized bed uh, com combustors and it involves the creation of the bigger particles, bigger agglomerates as a consequence of the uh, coating of bed by sticky layers. The consequence for the, for the engineers, uh, uh, for the uh, boiler is very serious because uh, fluidization can be stopped. Uh, we we call it uh, this process defluidization. So the, the, the boiler can be shut down uh, immediately. A very serious uh, consequence. The next uh, process is a slugging. Uh, it it occur. It uh, take place in the uh, higher temperature zone of the boiler here. So we call it a radiative zone when the flame or, or uh, when, when the flame is created and it involves the creation of deposits on the bo boiler sur surfaces and heat exchangers. But the uh, assumption is that at least one should be in the solid, uh, uh, on the liquid uh, uh, phase. And the last one is the falling. It occurs in the uh, lower temperature zone. Uh, we call it a convective zone when the another uh, heat ex ex exchangers are placed like uh, reheaters, uh, economizers. And it involves the, the condensation and deposition of solid products on the heat uh, exchangers uh, surfaces. Uh, now, uh, I just want to provide some, uh, let's say, uh, invitation because uh, we have, uh, in our opinion, quite good experience in the uh, experimental examination of ash-related issues, especially uh, using the bubbling fluidized bed reactor. So, everyone who have a need to to check it, we just want to share the, uh, our in, in, invitation to to cooperate in such a field. Uh, let's go more deeply about the agglomeration because I just want to uh, show you a very short movie about the uh, agglomeration. This, this was taken from, from, from our reactor. Uh, it, was, uh, the, uh, it, it, has, it was done by, 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 by our team. Uh, let me explain what's this. You can see here the reactor where the, the, the sand the, the, the sand is uh, inside. Uh, from the bottom here, we add the uh, air. So as a consequence, uh, we can obtain the fluidization, the creation of the bubbles, the, the intensive mixing of the bed. So please follow the behavior of the sand inside the, uh, the fluidized bed reactor. And also uh, please uh, follow the, the numbers uh, here because it is the, the di digital manometer. We also measure the pressure drop of the fluidization. Pressure drop is a very important factor for the fluidization. Um, uh, I would like to add more that it is uh, it is cold reactor, so we uh, we don't heat up system. We just want to show the fluidization process and uh, and the uh, agglomeration process. And and last important point uh, here we add drop by drop water. The question is why? Uh, everyone knows uh, uh, who just want to go to the beach, everyone who, who, who play with the sand, uh, know that if we add a little water to the sand, we can create more sticky structure. And after that, we can build the, the, the castles, the structures, the animals, uh, depending on your uh, uh, on your imagination. So we add water here to show you the effect of agglomeration. Okay, so th this is the introduction. So let's start the movie. Uh, 
Uh, you can see the creation of the bubbles here. The fluidization uh, is quite good. The mixing in the whole volume of the re reactor is quite good. But as you can see here, we add drop by drop water. And at the one moment uh, here, you can uh, see the creation of the channel. And the left hand side and the left uh, side of the reactor the fluidization is disturbed. We can you can see the, the lower bubbles. Uh, and now fluidization in the left hand side is, is stopped. We call it the death zone. And on the right hand side, we can uh, observe the creation of the channels and the fluidization is uh, even completely stopped. Now, we can see that fluidization is not possible. So we call it the, uh, that moment as uh, uh, defluidization. Very serious uh, problem for the uh, uh, boiler, for the engineers. Uh, we have to shut down the boiler if we observe such a, such a, uh, situation in, in our, uh, in our uh, system. Now we can see even we add more uh, mm, air, we cannot obtain flu fluidization. And here, uh, if you follow the numbers, we start from the bigger numbers. Uh, uh, it changed in the range of 16, uh, 18. Now it's uh, decreased, drop down to the uh, 18, 11, uh, sorry, 20, uh, 20, 12, 11 uh, uh, micro uh, bars. Uh, okay, so let's come back to, to, to our pre presentation. Uh, so, uh, it was the model, it was the cold model, but what happened in the real boiler? If we have a, a, a bed made of the, the sil silica sand, as you know, this uh, gaseous phase, sodium, potassium, chlorum, can surround the uh, particles of, of the bed. Also, the molten ash can exist just nearby the bed. And the next step is the condensation. As you, as you already know, this uh, gaseous phase can condensate on the bed particles. And after that, these, uh, uh, let's say, uh, condensate mixing of the uh, sodium potassium chlorium and the ash can create some sticky layer and uh, the more bigger particles are created so this is why the fluidization is not possible from the uh, uh, engineering practice point of view uh, how we can indicate this process because we cannot jump uh, into the the hot boiler is is not possible uh, but uh, we can observe such process if we measure the, the pressure drop, you can see this red line. And if we measure the uh, temperature in the different points of the bed. Uh, during the uh, agglomeration and defluidization, we observe, as you al already see on the, uh, on the movie, uh, decreasing of the pressure drop. The second indicator is the bigger difference between the temperature, uh, between the, the, the points uh, in the different uh, bed. Uh, because uh, on the top, uh, uh, top side of the bed, we just add the more fuel, so it burns on the top, but in the middle it doesn't mix. So this is why we can observe the the uh, temperature uh, differences. Uh, uh, okay, I just would like to underline that uh, the padistro already uh, is uh, highly contaminated by uh, silica. Uh, this is uh, this is quite important thing. So uh, actually, your remarks about uh, slugging is even more important here in India than in Poland, for example. Exactly, exactly. You are you are right. I just want to add more that also the, 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 the chlorine, sodium and potassium. Uh, we, we, I will show you in the, in the next slides 
some uh, the the let's say the the critic cri critical uh, padistro pro properties in terms of uh, ash related issues now let's say something more about the slugging because as i said the slugging occur in the a higher temperature zone of, of the boiler, we call it the, the radiative zone. But in fact, slugging can be divided into two main pro processes. First is uh, alkali-induced slugging. And uh, when the volatiles react uh, each together. And the second is the silicate, silicate melt-induced slugging. So that means if the, the ash is secondary transform is it's a is a melted and condensated melted and condensated and after that uh, we we can obtain the 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 the, the slugging so uh, just just to show you maybe a little more explanation about this process uh, the the alkali in, induced slugging starts from the uh, vaporization of the alkali metals next that can be uh, condensated as a very thin uh, 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 droplets we call it areosols uh, and after that that can attach on the on, on the uh, uh, fly ash sur surfaces and can attach to the heating surfaces creating uh, some uh, alternating layer but uh, silicate melt inducing slugging also uh, occur in the boiler uh, when we consider the fragmentation of char and burn out and as a consequence we we, we obtain the, the 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 ash but this ash can be uh, melting and uh, condensing and melting condensing creating more bigger structures that can also attach on the heating heating surface the falling falling uh, occur in the uh, convective zone of, of the boiler here uh, and of course uh, it create the deposits on the uh, heat exchangers uh, surfaces let me give you some examples of uh, industrial pr uh, practice from 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 our experience you can see the slugging here, the, the, the sticky layers on the boiler sail, sailing here, uh, we observe that these uh, sticky layers just uh, create a, a drops. They drop like a water. If, if, we, if, if, if we notice in the, in the, in the window, uh, we, uh, we notice some, some, some dropping uh, 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 droplets of the of the sticky layers uh, containing uh, for sure sodium potassium and 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 chlorium because it was in the boiler uh, that uh, biomass uh, pro pro problematic biomass was coffying also uh, we can uh, share you some uh, picture of the uh, compact and glass like uh, deposits uh, on the uh, ignition zone or just over ignition zone or even it these deposits can be created on the primary air zone but uh, let's uh, i i really regret that we cannot uh, meet in the reality because uh, after that you can touch uh, the 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 material the the product of slugging uh, falling and ag agglomeration but anyway, we just prepare for you uh, some examples. You can see here, for example, this is the, uh, the agglomerate created in our uh, reactor. Uh, I'm not sure if it is visible here, yeah, but let me, let, me, let me show it. Here uh, you can see the white points. The white points is the sand, but the more dark is the, uh, let's say, the condensate a product of uh, ash melting also you can see let me let me show you here for example here is a glass like structure is is not very easy to crack it is is very hard uh, another uh, example of the ash related um, product you can see oh it's quite heavy give me a second uh, is the product of the uh, in, in fact this it is slugging pro product you can see here the specific shape 
because it was taken from the heat exchange rate pipe. Let me, oh no, in, in reverse here. You can see this shape uh, was taken from, uh, from the pipe because uh, this uh, slugging pro pro product was taken from the pulverized uh, uh, boiler. Okay. 